Hi and welcome to this video. Right now I'm going to show you something very cool. You're about to learn how to mix two different audio files. What I mean by audio? MP3, WAV and all sorts of audio files that you can mix together or add certain sound effects to those audio files. Like for example, you can add a sound into a music. This way you can make different variations in order to produce a different music or different sound effect and this is gonna be produced with a software Digital DJ Pro this software is completely free no strings attached there's no pro version on it it's completely free it's one of the gems I found on the internet and I wanted to share with you right here right now by the way this software doesn't run on Mac it runs on Windows XP Windows Vista and Windows 7 as you can see right here so if you have Mac I'm sorry but this video is not for you so let's get started on the description of this video you're going to find a link that is gonna direct you to a page that looks like this digital DJ Pro looking for the best DJ mix software okay and here are some of the features of the software and what the software does it's a uh, pretty convenient so in order to get this done, click on download now and then let it download the execution file. Once the file is downloaded, you want to start it, run. And right now it's extracting all the installation files to your computer. You just have to wait uh, for a while in order to get this done. Again, I tried this many software many times. I use that software a lot and it's pretty convenient if you are uh, doing this for a hobby or if you want to mix different uh, video files, different audio files and this kind of stuff. Not video files but audio files for sure. Okay so here's the panel to install the software. Just click on accept. Uh, here are some webcam stuff. Well you can choose to accept or decline this. It's an extension of the software that is not actually related to the software. So I'm gonna click on decline. Here are also some other things that I'm gonna click on decline uh, again if you need that kind of stuff you can choose accept but I just want to decline that and decline this okay here we go right now the software is installing behind the scenes so I'm just gonna pause this video and come back all right as you can see the software is installed and you have to just click on the finish button here we go and you'll find a link on the desktop where you can see exactly the digital DJ Pro icon and this is what the software looks it's pretty easy actually and um, all we have to do here is on the left side here you can load one track and here you can load another track so uh, let me just show really quick what I'm talking about here so let's see here for the sake of this example I prepared three files demo is the music file I'm just gonna demo that for you to see that is just simple sound that you can use okay now for this music file you can add another song that is gonna be exactly I'm just gonna add a ship so basically I can add this sound ship sound inside this file and I can move it around exactly where I want it to be now check this out as the music is playing I can play that sound right over this music. The ship sound is played over the music so you can add whatever sound, sound effects you want to the music file and also in order to extract this click on options and record mix. This is gonna show you uh, the extracted file will be in WAV format so I can just uh, tap the name of the file here demo and all the sound effects you add over this file is going to are going to be recorded also you can mix two different music files into one in order to make a combination of both to produce a third audio file and this is what the software all about by the way here on the on the right corner in the lower right corner you can see certain certain icons that can help you with the music like for example as soon as the music plays I can decrease the volume or increase the volume the height
and the low frequency. Here are some adjustments for you. This is actually the volume. I'm gonna start the sheep sound effect again over this music. Check this out. Holy crap, did you hear that? And you can do with whatever audio files you want. Like for example, I can load another audio file here and it will be a woof. So basically the woof is gonna come up here on this particular track that I can play it over the song. Check this out. Just like this, both files run simultaneously, but the software records automatically for you the produced file from both versions. So this is pretty cool. You can play around with other features. As you can see here is depth, delay, frequency, high volume control, and other stuff I didn't cover in this video. I didn't because the video is gonna get too long. I'm probably gonna get too bored. And again, download the software and play around with it. It's pretty cool. It's gonna make your life much easier when it comes to producing different sound effects, adding sound effects to a music file and vice versa. To get the software again, click on the link below this video to get started. Thanks for stopping by.